a lot of times we do that type of things because uh, a lot of the what we deal with, when we talk about longevity and long-range planning, long-range thinking, and strategic management and all that, that means that it's not only what we're doing right now, but it's looking way ahead. It's kind of like, you know, planning technically is a window to the future. So we want to thank people for their donations over the years. And they've been seeing us out there and not knowing what we've been doing. Well, uh, your donations have kept help uh, keep us alive, keep us energized, keep us active. Uh, in another program, we'll talk about some of the real trials, tribulations, and trauma that we've been dealing with. Uh, we've been we have dealt almost right in front of your face with things that uh, no other movement have even survived. We've been hit broadside. We've been hit face to face. We've dealt with uh, money. We've dealt with threats. We've dealt with uh, robberies, uh, stealing, diversions, anything you can imagine we've dealt with. And we've dealt with them this go around over 40 years. And so uh, I want to let y'all know that we, we really appreciate uh, your aid and assistance. Now, so for the next, uh, next month or so, the pre Eid al Adha, uh, what we're going to do is kind of like what we did over. Uh, uh, you probably smell the food down there now. Uh, what we're going to do is, is uh, we're going to go out in front of places and we're going to ask permission first. Like, for instance, uh, PGMA. So this Friday, we're cooking a meal now. Uh, we'll take our tables. We'll set up at PGMA. We won't have boxes. It's not fundraisers. This is an appreciation. So before Eid at all, we're going to do it over at, uh, we'll ask them for permission, like in the parking lot at, uh, what do they call the place uh, right over there? Darl Hidra. And we can set up and uh, give food away, you know, and we'll have enough if they have three Jumas over there or more. We'll try to have enough for for that. Or we'll do what we can. Uh, so what we're going to do within this recent period here is we're going to not fundraise, not have, but this is an appreciation. We're going to fix up a flyer, an appreciation flyer, an appreciation DVD. This might be one of them. In the beginning, it might be one of them. But we'll try to have a flyer ready for this Friday. Because we'll start this Friday if you'll be able to do Juma. Then we might be able to hustle up and get uh, a little food ready for here. But all day tomorrow, we'll be getting the food ready for going out uh, uh, for Salato Juma and prepare. They have two Jumas over there. We'll have enough food. Uh, we'll have a, a short menu, kind of like the one the other day. We'll have mac and cheese. We'll have uh, uh, r rice biryani with vegetables, you know, that one. And uh, we'll have chicken, a nice chicken, and a salad, and water. So we'll get to all that tomorrow. So we'll be ready to roll uh, Monday, I mean uh, Friday, and we'll go 
who have started PGMA. We'll go over to PGMA no matter what weather we have. We have as long as we have the food and we're ready to go, uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready. So that's what we're going to do this Friday. Next Friday, we'll do the same thing, maybe at Darl Hydra. We'll try to get permission before we go so we could use it. So when they come out, they can. Technically, it's showing them another side. Look, we're not, uh, number one, when you give us something, it's going somewhere. It ain't, uh, you know, it's not like, uh, well, I'm not going to talk about uh, was these people, uh, Muslim Legal Fund and CARE. We feel like talking about them, but we're not going to talk about them. They give them billions of dollars and they don't get nothing in return. Well, this idea about it's better to give than receive, uh, that was clear the other day, uh, you know, when we was out uh, uh day before yesterday and we was out uh, whatever it was, Saturday whatever it was uh, it was good okay so uh, we prepared reasonable meals so we can imagine uh, the Muslims will be surprised you know if, if they're not it's okay whatever we're going to have an appreciation uh, Juma uh, for the next several weeks at a different place. We'll have a thank you note, a letter of appreciation in there, and a DVD to go with it. Uh, if we don't get it ready by this Friday for over there, I think we will. We'll just give the food out and maybe a flyer and, uh, you know, uh, and we'll cycle back with them maybe uh, in a month. Yeah, so we'll we'll get them. But these we won't be doing any fundraising. This will be just appreciation. Now imagine we go out to uh, New Hampshire Avenue or said, uh, yeah. And they see us out there. We'll get permission to be in the parking lot or at the door when they come. We'll set up. And they can come out and they can get a nice meal. Uh, it'll have that Indo-Pakistani flavor, a little Af semi-African. It'll be fine. Just like the crew out there, they could, they could deal with it. Okay. Uh... That's what we want to do for the people to show them we appreciate what y'all have been doing for us, you know, and putting up with us. You haven't been knowing what we're doing with the money, but we want to, you know, let them know it's not all income. Uh, the little note will let them know we, what we see ourselves as, Cyber Coon. What we see ourselves as a vanguard. People will be more prepared to listen to. We see ourselves as a vanguard movement, a vanguard organization. We've been that, and we we hope to continue that. So free meals really show uh, where the money has been going, uh, where it's kind of been going, and uh, and it we're not just. Uh, Taken in. This also has a lot to do with goal setting for the mid 21st century. In other words, we're in a new dispensation right now. And so what we're doing is we're clearing the deck for war. Because uh, doing good in an accelerating Accelerated environment. What does that mean? The things are moving so fast that uh, what we have to do is take care of now. In the near future, 
uh, artificial intelligence and all of that stuff that we have to do have our program have to cover that this is the early uh, 21st century and our program will include all the necessities for this period including educational and training and it'll come through during our lectures and flyers and later on it'll come through do through real teaching uh, on artificial intelligence the way to challenge they're going to do artificial intelligence anyway to incorporate people with us who have all of this knowledge and if they're going to develop sneaky bad robots we'll have to have our people develop good ones uh, to put them in check simple as that yeah there's no sense sitting around here they're going to do a artificial intelligence boy they're going to mess up everything no we're not going to let them mess up nothing because artificial intelligence we'll have the good people it'll be the same thing like it's been the good people the shaitan and all of that so they'll develop their uh, artificial intelligence like they do video games killing everybody blowing everything up you know i mean they won't be able to help it because that's what's in them okay we're going to develop peace loving peace seeking stabilizers historical peace stabilizers future stabilizers well programmed robots to do good they won't be able to do nothing but seek out evil and do good that's their program again thank the muslims for helping us over the hump like uh this this type of approach uh makes the muslims or helps them feel inclusive with us that we're not those strange people out there always hollering and always right but we're explaining to them what they've already done and what we've been doing so the meal is a thank you meal and this this thing about gratefulness thankfulness and appreciation uh we are grateful and thankful and we appreciate being here so we've survived over 40 years with their help <clears throat> and technically you have to realize that we've been going out for 40 years at least raising funds you know we've been going to we started at the Islamic Center and then we spread out everywhere but all of those uh they helped us a lot you know but now we want to explain to the people what they've been doing and what we've been doing okay what we're talking about now is the idea whose time has come there's nothing greater than that all of our old stuff stages of growth in the islamic movement there's another stage of growth in the islamic movement and we're happy to be in it and we're moving forward without any diversions you have to remember uh the things that have happened to try to slow us down divert us get us derail us make us evil and hateful and none of it has worked it doesn't have worked at all none 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 uh what they call a diversion has not been a diversion because all it is is shooting us somewhere else <laughs> you know what i mean like what we're doing now what we've been doing for decades is they tried to cut us off and 1966 from the black movement and all they did was divert us right back around but with full pockets and ability to
to do what we did, 68, 69, 70. And by 71, they had wrapped it up, and so we left. Well, we left them with a full plate of good deeds, you know. But when we left, they had isolated and cut off right in the town where we was from, uh, you know, to where we had. It was just like what we have now. We got all this stuff, but nobody's there. That's the way Oakland was. We had all those businesses, but they had systematically cut us off in the town where we're from. It ain't no big deal. They have everybody. They can do that. It didn't bother us. We was glad to let them go for a while. Okay, you keep it. You want it. And now look what they have. They have had all of this, all of this time. And look how stupid they look. Look how, how could anyone mess up as bad as they do? Well, they, they found a way. They're the laughing stock of the world. And ain't nobody with them. They don't want Cuba. They don't want Venezuela. They don't want Nicaragua to come to their Latin. Da, 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 da. And people saying, well, we ain't going. And bump y'all. It's so bad. It's like, uh, and now probably you hear the news that uh, they're beginning to see what Putin's plan always was. And an old Putin ain't losing, and they've been lying all along. And he's been strategic, and uh, the army is ready to fold and quit. Not the Russian army, but them. The generals are sending messages, hey, man, these bums is, uh, sending us out here to die, and they ain't sending nothing with us, you know, and uh, bump them. Uh the same thing with, uh, you have to realize what we have done is a great job. We have proved that you can survive. That boss man, he, he's not omnipotent. He, he can't do whatever he want to do. Sometimes it's something restraining him from doing what he would like to do. And he don't know what to call it, but we do. Can you imagine for the last 30, 40 years what we've been doing? It's a miracle that there's nobody like that in American history. None. No white people, no black people, no nothing. That have actually built institutions. And then when those institutions are prevented from going the way that they were designed, that there's an alternative thing to go around and do whatever, and ain't nobody losing no sweat. Again, a thank you letter, thankfulness, gratefulness, and appreciation. And we're saying to the people, we appreciate you and we thank you for uh, helping us get this far. That you're part of this. The idea that time has come is not the old idea of liberty, freedom, and all of that stuff. Uh, that was a big deal over 200 years ago. And Patrick Henry, he give me liberty or give me death, that type of thing. Where is that at? Well, it's around somewhere. Give me liberty, give me death. That's old Patrick Henry. That was the governor down there in New York of all people. Yeah, give me liberty, give me death. 1775. This is 2021. Imagine a constitution that was put together at that time with artificial intelligence, supersonic travel, Right, submarines, atomic warfare, and they got a piece a rag from then made by humans, not by God. If God made it, it would be good forever. They made it, and they're still trying to patch that rag up. 
And all they could do is cause trouble amongst themselves. Roe versus Wade. Well, go ahead. You didn't let people do all the fornicating and everything they wanted and have all the billions of, uh, of abortions, and now you want to tell them they can't have them except uh, you, in two or three states, so uh, you got to travel for 500 miles. You know, that ain't going to work. Okay, that's because they're confused. About what? Everything. You have never seen as much confusion when we read the historical accounts of crackpots in ancient times. There was not as much confusion as it is now. This is professional confusion. And you don't have to worry about it because everything this confused Sleeper, that's the old president. He, he run around the block and go to sleep. You know, it's it's unbelievable. And he haven't did anything right since he's been the president. It's as though he can't do anything right. It's almost impossible. The man, uh, I don't say I feel sorry for him, but you wanted it, you stole it, you got the presidency, so now. Yeah, deal with it. And he can't do nothing but repeat the dumb mistakes. Well, we'll have another war. That's all. We'll we'll hire the rehire the defense contractors. Let them get rich. The same old dumb story. And inflation. You know. Everybody is paranoid right now. They don't know what's going to happen. And they're insecure. And I think the greatest crime that they did is what they did to their children. Instead of children getting a break and getting a new apartment, new house, and a new husband or wife, and a house full of furniture at graduation and marriage. They got debt. Can you imagine how? And all the kids keep telling me that everybody's depressed. Everybody's sad. Well, the United States is trying to lead everybody. And I don't believe it, but they said it was a killing. There were so many killings during the last week or so. That's a, I, didn't, I said, wait a minute, I didn't hear. You mean there was uh, more killings than the kids down there? There's a man. It's okay. So we have to do good, but a standard good. Like the good we have to do should be consistent with the present but it fits into the future and it puts a check on artificial intelligence where all of this fits together and we have to teach that and incorporate that into the public sphere right now. That's what we have to do. We have to get everybody involved. We have to get Hollywood involved. We have to get everybody involved. All of those people are sad and unhappy, and all of them. We have to show people how to use what they have. Yeah, that's part of what we're getting ready to do right now. Well, that's part of what, technically, that's part of what we're doing. Just because we say we want to do it don't mean we're not doing we, it. When we go out and feed somebody, we're doing part of what we've been talking about. You know, we're headed towards where we want to go. So we don't have to, to say that this is what we're about. Don't mean that we have to solve the problem right now. But we have to harmonize with our objectives. We have to harmonize the people. And I don't believe that nobody could do it but us. Well, other people can. But other people got to get out there. When you get out there and start pushing it, you'll start finding the people. 
this is an idea whose time has come. This ain't new. To clean up the rivers, clean up the air, to clean up the water, to clean up and replant the world. Yeah. Or let it go to pot and just uh, sign off and say, uh, let boss man destroy it. He'll destroy it. He ain't got no brakes and he ain't got no direction. It's all downhill. Uh, Neo-liberty, neo-freedom, but a, a new freedom. Freedom is not the stuff they was talking about. Give me liberty and give me death. That's some King George. You know. We have to liberate ourselves from our nafs. Liberate ourselves. We have to. We have to help people learn how to control their nafs, and uh, so that we have to develop a, a teaching that. Uh, the people will be able to catch hold to and move, and it has to be inclusive. So uh, it will be an overview of all the things that people are aware of already. You know, Tao Te Ching, Quran and Hadith, and all that, but not under that name, under the principles. You see what I mean? Now, we teach in straight Islam to everybody, but for the public, we have to prepare all these good things. And now, this is not new. You got to remember, in strategic management under conditions of repression, you know, uh, strategic studies and management and all of that. That's been in our stuff for years, and it's not nothing new. So now, we got it exactly what we want to do right now then it was swirling around we knew what we needed to do but not in detail rapid evolution included in the plan what we say in, in our future planning rapid evolution has taken place it's, uh, and you can't stop it so we have to cruise along with it and go out a little bit in front of it, uh, but keep it ascending. Uh, stability in work, stability in goals, stability in mission. In this period of rapid transition, people would feel unstable. And that's why we have to have broad, stable of principles of work. So the goals have stability. They, they, they cover a, a large spectrum. And they are big goals, but they are broad. They are something and things everybody can understand and work toward, but we have to develop it where each people or group of people can see their destiny in those goals. Yeah. We can do it. Negro can do anything. Negroes can fly backwards. Yes, I've seen it myself. Yeah. Of course, a little lie here and there. It's a little white lie. It's not that bad. Uh, Doing good in an accelerated environment. Now remember, we have to do all of this good in this accelerated environment. That's going to be pretty tricky to maintain stability, stability, but rapid evolution at the same time. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, well, liberation from more war mongers, we don't have to worry about them. But Tuskia and goal setting. Tuskia, purification. We all know about Tuskia, Bill Nas, but Tuskia, purification and goal setting. 
possibility thinking. Possibilities put in motion and action. Okay. A lot of this will be called good world studies. Uh, just, uh, don't worry about it. Good world studies. Okay. Don't be surprised. Look, they had an article in newspapers 20 years ago with us talking about the same thing, environmental stuff. We've been thinking about this all along. This is, none of this is new. We've been chewing over this and pondering over for decades. This, this stuff right here. Focus on good. Make life worth living. Uh, that's our responsibility. Boss man is employed by the shaitan. And he's going to mess up his life. He'll mess up your wives, your children, and everybody's lives. He can't help it because that's what he do. He did it before and he's on the road to doing as much. So anybody want to stay with him? Stay with him. Good. Get ready to get messed up. Make life worth living. New separation before and after. In other words, this period, uh, you know, where they have A.D., Anto, Domini, B.C., before Christ and all that. And we have uh, Jahiliya and da-da-da-da. Okay. So when our new teachings will include what's acceptable now and in the future. now and in the future and the stuff that was in the past we have to classify this we have to popularize this is uh, we'll call it to us it'll be jahiliya ignorance but we'll get a modern name for right we'll even start the dates it's from now we start this now yeah we have to do it. This is what we had, we had to figure out what we was going to do, and, and it all falls down in a hurry. So that's what we're going to do. With Allah's help, pre arms race, pre war, pre conquest. Remember, all of that was the human being in his dumb period. In his video murder game where he can't think of nothing else. But do you think the world want to live in that world or in the world we're talking about? Do you think the millions of children that uh, the little sweeties, whatever, Greta, what's her name? Do you think they want to live in that world that them people in that or in our world? Hey. Everybody that's got sense would want to live in this world, clean, healthy, wholesome world. And this is what uh, we're at that time where not only is it good, but it's necessary. If we don't do it now, boss man, we don't know. This is what we're calling destiny control in human terms. Destiny control in human terms. This is allowed. Remember, we're all going to get our book in one hand or the other, right? But who wrote that book? We did. Right? The angels recorded it. Right? So now, what's wrong with us designing a future that we want? It's, it's, it's up to us. That's what is Allah giving us. Yeah, we have permission. Destiny control in human terms. The ultimate destiny of the planets and all of that, we don't have. Uh, but within our control, 
within our sphere of activity, we can do this on this world. Uh, do it or die, that's what it is. Do it or get blown up or urinated all on. This, these guys, nobody needs to be around any longer to see these people are absolutely crazy. Real, real crazy. Okay. In 40 years, we have never got uh, stopped nor diverted. That's right. This, in the last 40 years, we haven't been stopped or diverted. We've had the same, let's call them lofty ideas from day one. The same ones. But to go to live long enough to go through the process of evolution. To reach a stage where you reach where now is time of implementation. And that's that's why things feel so good. We we're gonna get a chance to give it a shot. We won't talk about our monitors, but uh, we believe we'll have pretty good luck with monitors because either they have to be crazy or they have families too. Hell, any, anybody can see. If they can't see what's happening by now, boy, look at here. Um, okay. Uh, our monitors we have. Okay, some of the monitors, let's call them uh, the Mukhtars, and the, those people, uh, we welcome them aboard. They have been damn fools for many reasons. Not only damn fools, but they've been damn fools in thinking that their little sausage minds can affect us and divert us, and we have 500 years' experience. They don't know the difference between little niggas and big niggas. They have no idea. I'm not going to call them names, but they're so small. When you don't have control of your own self and focused on your destiny, and you got a house full of children and you're taking them to the white man for them to put them through his sausage machine, right? You are a dummy, a real dummy. I'm not bragging, but they haven't been able to influence us on nothing. They're f real failures. Abdul Malik is a superior failure. Mukhtar and Khadija are professional failures. I mean, like, bad. And that performance they put on, on in here 20 years ago, when I looked around at them and looked, and... I said what I said, that means that's what I meant then. That was 20 years ago. It was 2002. And I was talking the same stuff somewhere over the rainbow. Remember and the same thing. This is this has not changed. The only thing is that time have evolved to where only an idiot wouldn't know what time it is. What was that big, that stupid, that silly Negro used to wear the big clock on the necklace? Huh? And they, what, so he would know what time it was? That's what, the, well, that's what they asked him, man. Why you wear that clock so I know what time it is? Maybe he didn't really know, but at least he, it looked like he knew what time it was. Yeah, man, uh, anyway. Uh, see, historically, all of this stuff is, is scriptural. That's happening. You can just open up any book. Okay, we have to incorporate 21st century rapid evolutionary scripturalism 
without the language, that type of thing, the principles. They don't have time, they don't have Islam. Da, da, da. Uh, okay. Are there any questions or any comments about uh, anything that was said? But we're, we're in that uh, new dispensation. We're in that period. The period between now and Eid al-Adha is uh, we'll go out every week and we'll have uh, uh, food for people and it'll be attached with the thank you thing. And uh, we're not raising funds during that period. It's not that we don't need them, but we're just not doing it. Uh, that's for shock effect. The Negro giving away something? Nobody does that. Isna, ikna, you come there, you got to pay $5,000 for a room and $500 million at the food truck. If you can get it it won't f even fill you up. You know what I mean? Well, no, they all, everybody that walked by us yesterday, day before yesterday morning, they had Starbucks thing. They just left Starbucks. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I could see why they were so happy and didn't, and in disbelief. And the last thing, look, never, never under estimate the meanness of those people. When I was saying that the whole idea of the Pakistani brother coming by over and over again, hey, let me help. And you guys can help too. Why? Because anybody would come by, what would they think? The Pakistani brother, no niggas could they even have them, but they wouldn't do this. And who do they work for? Him. That's mean. I mean, they're, they're mean. I mean, but we could tell what's going on because we have Lazarus in the back of us with all the paraphernalia and Lazarus' children running around with boxes. You know, everybody is there in, in form. And so, and they pop, everybody pop right up. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And everybody is... is they are weighing, measuring, and they, they own their job. And uh, so, uh, if they wanted to divert it, that mean it had to be a lot of good in it that even we didn't see. So we'll do some more of that. That's, yeah, I yeah, would we'll do some more of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, automatically, right? <clears throat> If it's so good that they don't want us to get credit for it, that they want us to, okay, we'll let you help. Here, here's the, you serve everything that we prepared, and everybody is from your crew, and you're going to, actually it's cruelty for them to even mention to try to do that. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I'm telling you, I never even thought about it. I never considered it. And he was getting hostile. You mean you don't want me to? I said, no, man, we got it covered. Because it was too obvious. We got it covered, man. We got this covered. And it had to be serious. <clears throat> it had to be serious and nobody would come and, and steal half the stuff we had uh, prepared for the next morning. But it's okay. It ain't no big deal. What the heck? We still had some. Another full pan of eggs and a half would have been nice to have. 
them because they would have been tasty and they would have had another several pans of uh, so-called meat. But that was fine. That was fine. You know, we don't have to get greedy with blessings. It was the blessing. Uh, so what we're doing as we move along, we are we have course corrections for not so much in the future because if they see we're course correcting, you know, then they'll do something for us to correct our course. But I don't believe that stuff was done for course correction. That was done to divert us and to stop us and to, you know, to take the joy out of it. It don't work. I'm sorry, it don't work. It's just fun. Uh, hey, man, when, when it says it's better to give than to receive, that's true. It doesn't make no difference what other people think. And Hadith is just verifying it all the time. If you don't do this, you know, then you ain't going to have contentment. You're going to keep working. And you're going to keep, <laughs> but you ain't going to be, hey, man, only thing I can say is that is real, real true. And you can't get nothing equal to that nowhere. It, it, you can't get that. If it was possible, the rich people would have it. The Hollywood people would have it. All of those people would have it. They don't have it. They going crazy, okay, and we have it right here. Write what the book says. It's like you eat this food, you'll never go hungry again. You do this type of thing, you're going to have contentment. You'll never be sad or psychologically depraved or lonely again. This is it. And that's the way I feel about what we do. Are there any questions or any comments? No questions. Okay. Does anybody have any comments on last weekend when we went out? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'll put it like this. You have to be there to experience it. Yeah, but look, <clears throat> that was all in the plan. Because all the people people gave us little cards to go in. Everybody there that was in on the deal was there. Everybody was right there. Okay. The spot that we had, uh, nobody messed with us from the program at all. Till after we were about, to after all the food gone, okay, you guys got to go, right? That's the way they did day before yesterday. They waited till everything was gone. Then he comes by on the scooter, right? Okay. And the other, the day before, it was so many people that they couldn't say nothing. If they say, he's giving away free food and you want him to close down, impossible. That's when the guy said, well, let me help feed the people. I had a halal place. They'll think it's him. Huh? They're going to try to, yeah, little old nickel and dime stuff, but it's, everything is apparent, you know. And like I was talking to an a associate today. Yeah, you, you saw how we uh, co-opted your uh, fundraising and stuff. I said, John, yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I said, how'd y'all do? Oh, that's good. That's, that's, that's fine. But you have to remember, 
That's why we can keep moving. So now instead of asking people for money, we're giving them food. So when we come around after that, it'll be automatic. No problem. And it's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do where there's no guaranteed return for it. That, anyway, if there's no more questions or comments, uh, we thank everyone very much. This has been a very educational period and a, a good evolutionary period also. Uh, this is one of those periods that you could tell. That, uh, this is just it. You could tell when it's it. I mean, you know, if you'd have lived through it before. This is just it. There's nothing. Uh, it's it. Okay. So thank you all very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.